Ryan Bill is now online. It's your boy Ryan Bill back again with another video. I I'm just kidding. No, don't, don't, don't leave. Don't leave. Watch, watch. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So today we're going to make a button. So when you click it, it displays the date and time. Let's go. Hit up that HTML tag and inside your HTML tag, open up some body tags, which will now enclose your button. Perfect. If you follow my instructions, your HTML file should look like mine. Moving on to the button, I suggest you go and watch my previous videos on button because they will be really helpful going into this. You're not a true Rhymbler until you've seen that video. In this part of the button, I added a few errors. Tell me if you spotted them out. If you do, change it. If you don't, wait till the end of the video when I'll reveal what they were. Also, when I was making this video, I was typing a reasonably slow. That's because I didn't watch my tutorial. So seriously, go check it out right now. As of now, I'm typing on click, which is simply telling the computer if I click this button, then it should do whatever is following that, which is going to be displaying the date and time. I'm not really saying much about what I'm typing, is because most of this is a repeat from my previous videos. So you could just copy what I'm typing, or you go to my previous video and check out what I did there. Finally, the date that is at the end of the whole script is literally the real date and real time that's currently happening right now. If you didn't catch on, the mistake in this script was the very top of the line with the angled bracket closing up the button. All you gotta do is erase that and now move the on click to the top line. Although it doesn't matter if you move it up or not, it's, it just looks nicer when it's up there. Would you ever click a blank button? No, I didn't think so. So let's add a name to our button. And down below, all you want to type in is date and time. You can name it whatever you want, but I'm just going to name it date and time. Because that's exactly what it does. All you have to do is to close up your button tag. And that's it for the button tag. Let's move on to the paragraph tag where the date and time will be displayed. As before, I already made a video on how to display text with a button. So, I'm literally, literally, what? So I'm just pretty much going to do the same thing, but with the date. So as I finish typing this up, what this paragraph does, it contains nothing, so something can be displayed. So it literally just contains where the date is going to be displayed. So without this, you'll be unable to see the date and time. Go ahead and save your file. Just follow what I do if you don't know how to. So now we're going to see what our file looks like. Hint, hint, there's still one more mistake left, so it's not going to work. But anyway, we're going to open it up, so follow what I do. As we wait for this to open up, we're expecting just a button in the corner and a white background page. So now go ahead and click your button. Whoa, it doesn't work. Surprise, surprise. No, not really. Okay, go back to your script and I'll show you how to fix this. Okay, this took me quite a while to figure out, but the problem is when you go to get element by ID and the brackets and then the quote signs, it's not supposed to be a double quote, but rather a single quote. If this makes sense to you, start a YouTube channel. If you're not, Hey, I just like me. Now if you go back to your Google page and refresh it, you should now see when you click the button, below it, it shows the date and time at some other, other random words. So now you have your date and time. Anything else? Comment down below and I'll make a video about it. Ooh, son, that's a nice looking date. That's how to do it. That's how to display date and time using a button in HTML. Join the Rhymble family if you haven't. Don't forget to save. Until next time, Rhymble out.